I, we had this script for many, many years um, and always waiting for the right time to make it since I first read it. I just, I loved the the entertainment value, the excitement, and it was time to, I think, reprise the submarine um, genre. But more than anything, it was a chance to bring the, the submarine genre into the, the 21st century, into submarine culture, and, and go into these new style of subs and, and, and go down and, you know, really see how these people think, work, their courage, their intelligence, their basically brilliance. Um, so a chance for an audience to, to really get involved and live it with us. And I'd like to thank the Navy for all their their help because we couldn't have done it without them. Or we could, but it would have not been a good movie. And I actually think that we have a really great movie. I'm very excited about it, but they were incredibly in, not just helpful but gracious and kind you were fantastic in in, in hosting us in, in in Pearl Harbor and the help of uh, Russell Coons and 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 Caleb Kerr who was our advisor um so I again just like to reiterate that that it was um it was, a, it, was um, a, it was a beautiful partnership. Um, yeah, well, certainly the uh, the Navy views these opportunities to partner with uh, with Hollywood as another opportunity of communicating with America, with our constituents. Uh, as I said in my opening remarks, uh, I think there's a, a, a near term. Uh, uh, objective with that in trying to show a generation of young Americans, uh, you know, 18 to 24 year old young men and women who might not normally even consider what opportunities the Navy can offer them and be able to expose them to something that might excite their attention, at least enough to go to the uh, www.navy.mil website or uh, uh, further inquire. Because uh, one of the challenges that we have is that even as recently as 20 years ago, it was almost 50 percent of Americans who had a parent who had served in the military. Uh, today, it's about 16%. When I woke up in the morning before we were supposed to go to Saudi Arabia, we were informed of what was happening, and it just didn't feel like a good time to be getting involved That getting involved with that. It felt incredibly insensitive to, to go to Saudi Arabia, um, even though I, I, I felt very badly for the film company because they did all their, the, the Saudi film company, because they did all their work in good faith for us. And there was a lot of fans ready to come. And, um, but it just didn't seem like a situation that we, we would um, want to get into. Um, and as that situation isn't concluded, then I, I and, and there are no definite answers, and it's not for me to be coming up with solutions. I need your help. Take, no, take, I can't take a picture. Okay.